Street Fame Podcast, Quan Boy in the building. Y'all already know a Tampa native. This dude right here got a movement, man. So, you know, it made sense for me to get him in here so we can, you know, discuss what's going on right now. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Always. Shout out to Street Fame. That's what's up. So, Quan, man, just just in a nutshell, man, tell them what you do. Like, what is it that Quan actually do? Man, what do Quan do? Quan do. Quan do everything that you think. Like, I'm multi-talented. So, what I do is, what I like to do is I like to host and I like to manage. So, I manage um, about over five or six artists right now. Mm -hmm. um, eventually, I'm going to, um, eventually what I'm, I'm starting to do, though, is because it's a lot stressful because managing five, six artists, especially, in, including myself, mm -hmm. uh, I wanna, I'm want i doing a uh, manager class for my people, for people that want to learn how to be in management and everything. So, they'll be under me managing certain artists. But I manage artists. Uh, I'm an artist myself. I like to host events. Uh, I'm a promoter myself. I do my own events. Uh, I do uh, entertainer, actor. Mm -hmm. I've been on. I've been in TV shows. I've been. Uh, I've been invited on TV shows. So I do a lot. I do. Okay. I, lo okay. I do a lot for my character. That's what's up, man. So how how long have you been in the business? Uh, three years. Three years. So in, in short, three years, you don't manage to work your way up. Mm -hmm. And and for the people that that want to be on that quant level or even you know somewhat that what they got to do to. You got you got to grind. Yeah. You got to sac. Biggest thing is two things. Well, I say three things: grind, invest, mm -hmm. and sacrifice. A lot of people don't want to invest. A lot of people, <laughs> a lot, of, a lot of people, like a lot of people don't want to invest, and that's the craziest thing. And the people that don't want to invest don't make it nowhere. Yeah. I, I, you could get mad all you want. I, I tell my artists this like this: you don't want to invest in your music, you're not gonna become the artist you want to be. You just gonna be. You gonna just be an artist. Yeah. You ain't gonna be a major artist. Same thing. It's the same thing with modeling because I manage. I don't just manage art artists. I manage models too. Mm -hmm. I, I'm starting to help out models and everything. I tell them. I tell her. I told my model. I say if you learn, if you gotta learn, you gotta learn how to invest your money. So the booking money, don't just oh I'm I'm a at one fifty or whatever two hundred whatever. Don't just blow it. Put put something to the side because mm -hmm. guess what. You gotta pay photographers. You gotta do this. You're not a top model, so nobody gonna. <laughs> you're not a top. And I'm just be. I, yeah. I'm. I'm very. I'm very blunt. And everybody. I think that's the. I think, that's the one thing good and bad about me. Somebody said I'm very blunt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, I just be like, yo, you're not a top. You're not the the model that people go photographers are gonna pay. Pay. You're gonna have to invest. May and then once you get to that level, then you could charge photographers. But yeah, investment. If you don't invest, you ain't gonna get nowhere. The good thing it's a good thing you brought it up, man, because I have been doing this for like twelve years, right? Mm -hmm. And and it's it's just been a big investment even for me. But the funny thing is, I bumped to so many artists that oh man, put me on, do this, look out for me, and I'm like, what are you doing like as as your as far as your career like? And, and what I'm getting at is a lot of these people. They want they like saying look out bless me hook me up right, but when you when these same artists go in the studio, or go doing they gotta pay right. Yeah, you got you got pay you got pay, pay for studio unless right. your homeboy unless your homeboy doing it, but your homeboy gonna get tired of doing it, so he gonna start charging you. Like look out, I, like I, I had to learn the hard way though because mm -hmm. I I wanted I wanted that I wanted people to look out for me I wanted people to bless <laughs> me, I, but when I realized that the first my first year and year and a half nobody's gonna look out for you. Okay, I gotta switch it up. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go grind. And I'm gonna go do something for my name and I'm gonna go start from the dirt up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? People not gonna bless you. People, if you keep people will bless you though. Don't get me wrong. They'll people, bless you if they see you. But if you grinding, up. if you grinding, you working hard. That's like, that's like if you if you working at a construction site and mm -hmm. if two people working a construction site and the man got a shovel. Bam, bam, working, 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 working. And the other man, he, he, and every time, every time his shovel break, he going, he going to get a new one or he going to uh, fix it. And the other man, other man have a shovel, and then he's just slacking off. Who you think? And I got money, mm -hmm. and I keep seeing these people. Who you think I'm gonna invest in? I'm investing in one. I'm gonna invest in the one that's gonna invest, that know he gonna invest in himself. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying. Definitely, that's that's what I was getting. That's like they spend money for the. I think a lot of artists, being that you do artist management, I think that you can give them some advice because I think they spend their money in the wrong areas too. Yeah, a lot you of know. people, 
the flat, the flashy jewelry, mm-hmm. the the clothes, man, y'all, the cars, the cars, everything. the everything. What you need to invest in music video, your music videos. Mm-hmm. You need to invest in your music, mix and mastering. People mm-hmm. don't mix and master their. You know yeah, a I lot. Know you out. know a lot of people in Tampa <laughs> do not mix and master their music. That's crazy. Yeah. Mix and master, like y'all just be wanting to release the rough draft. No, you can tell in the like. Trust me, I'm. I learn how to DJ. I learn how to do a lot. I so I could go to a club and DJ. I I've, I've been booked to DJ. I just don't like doing it. Gotcha, but gotcha. money's money, so I do whatever I want. I do whatever I can. You could tell a DJ could tell when your your track is mixed and mastered, and it's just and it's something that just was you just recorded and then did did a little bit of editing. Blah blah blah. If you mix and master. Like yo, music sound clean. Like people be like, "Hey, why my my sound? Why why my music don't sound like Rick Ross's music, Lucci music, <laughs> this that?" Because they mix and master, they get their stuff cleaned up. Uh-huh. They taking time. They taking time. They they paying the the engineers. Uh-huh. They sitting in the studio watching it. Man, it's crazy. It's crazy. That's what y'all gotta invest in. Y'all got y'all wanna invest in. Y'all wanna invest beats. Uh-huh. Yeah, we. I, I'm 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 a um. I'm proud of myself. I like YouTube beats. But guess what? If you blow up off a of YouTube beat, you're going to get sued eventually. Yeah. <laughs> unless you own the beat. Yeah. Go invest in making your own... Go invest in purchasing your own beat. Like, go pay a producer. Like, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a few hundred dollars. Yeah. But guess what? If you blow off of that music, you, you, you got rights to your music. The thing is, I believe, if you believe in yourself... Then you you will be willing to invest into yourself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like you, mm-hmm. if it, even if the beat costs you know two bands, if you feel like that's the beat that's gonna get you I'm gonna where get you, you need to go. The, yeah, you gotta get it because I mean a lot you gotta think a lot of these mainstream artists they're not using no you know YouTube beats or no hundred dollar beats. They, if they if they, they spend a lot yeah. of money on the beats and, and they, if they if they are they purchasing the rights to that yeah. beat. So you, because don't get me wrong, people look at the YouTube beats and they look at who makes them. And they might get that beat, or they might just tell, "Hey, hey, I'm gonna reach out to you. I want you to make me an executive beat. I'm gonna pay you." Um, you know what I don't like about YouTube beats? So since we're on the topic, I don't like that you make a song and you hear four people with the same beat. Yeah, I hate. You know, I you go out to somewhere and you hear somebody with the same beat that you use or one of your artists use. Then you go somewhere else and somebody got the same beat. Yeah, I and, heard and it. That I heard happens, it. You know I heard it saying? before. I, I heard it multiple times. How you gonna stand out if you got the same beat? Everybody gonna think you that person or whatever when they hear the song come on. Mm-hmm. Right. I heard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think definitely that's that's one of the things. Um, but back to pretty much you know what you doing, man. So you you got the management. You're an artist. Yeah, I'm an artist. And, and you do a little bit of you know hosting and I, DJing I, a little bit of everything. I love I love hosting. I love that's the main thing I love doing. I love hosting because I love to get out. Like I've been hosting a lot of I've been hosting a lot of events in Tampa. Uh, mm-hmm. but um, I was blessed to uh be at Scott every Saturday. I'm at Scott this Friday, so I'm booked up on Saturday, Saturday okay. uh, Friday and Saturday. As a host, uh, okay. but. I've been I've been expanding on my host my host game like uh-huh. MC and now MC like when yeah. I'm hosting and then like I started getting invited to Miami and I've been hosting a lot of events in Miami yeah, like well. KOD I've been to K I I went to KOD for Money Bag Yo uh-huh. and they reached out to me the same week and and told me to come and told me to come on Wednesday and it was crazy it was crazy because that story meant a lot to uh-huh. to me because I went to Miami with no money. They was like, "Hey, we need you to come down Wednesday if you can." I said, "Okay, I'm gonna host this." But you know, some people host. It's funny because some people host events and put put on fly and never come to an event. That, that's funny to me, but that's a different <laughs> that's a different topic for another day. <laughs> but so I um, but I could have did that. I'm like, okay. I was like, I don't got no money to go to Miami. What do I do? I had a PS4. I don't play it. I went and pawned it. Mm-hmm. Get a hundred and fifty dollars. Drove to my min- drove to Miami Wednesday, mm. and came straight back. I had to pull over on Alligator Alley. I had to pull over on Alligator Alley, and everybody know if you're not familiar with Alligator Alley, Alligator Alley is the it's like the bridge. It's like a it's a bridge between Miami and uh, Naples. An hour it's an hour it's an hour alley, straight mm-hmm. shot. I had and it's dark. Yeah, I know. I know. It's dark. You this know, is for the people that don't know Alligator Alley. If you never, if you never drove to Miami from uh, on you know. uh, seventy five, it's a toll road that's dark. No, no, it's like it's no, it's not really a lot of light. I had to pull over, coming back because I was swerving. I wasn't drunk. I was just tired. I was yeah, mentally man. tired. You know, I don't did that. You know me. <laughs> I, I don't men- did it. <laughs> I'm mentally tired, so I drove. I drove to Miami, drove back, pulled over, and it's dark. Put my. I, 
Oh, uh, thank God I have friend. Thank God I have a good team. I have friends that care. They they slept on the phone with me and make sure I was good. Cause cause my car was running and I had to have lights. I, but and then I had to be at work. I got home at nine and I had to be at work at ten. That's, That's just dedicated. It's, de- it's dedication and investment and sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Three things. Cause guess what? I could have not win. But then, mindset wise to the promoters and everybody in Miami. Oh, this dude. This dude not really important. I'm coming from another city too. So now they like, damn, this dude coming from three hours away and then driving back. He's dedicated. What's good in more events? Now, now they invited me back to my. They invited me back to Miami Christmas weekend. That's what's up, man. So that's that's crazy. Mm-hmm. But um, for the people who uh, want to do business with you, or who might be interested in doing business, what do they need to do to get in touch with you? Uh, just reach out on me on on my Instagram, my Twitter. I'm starting to use Twitter. Uh, starting to expand my mind mm-hmm. with with social media. Uh, I hate Twitter, but I, I'm starting mm-hmm. to use it. Reach out to me on Twitter or Quan Boy. I I had to shorten my Instagram up because it was everybody was complaining. It was, it's not Quan Boy underscore Entertainment anymore. Everybody used to complain, so it's Quan Boy, Ian uh Quan Boy Ent underscore. So it's easier for people to find. Uh, Quan Boy Ent on Twitter. Just reach out to me. Let me know what you want to do. Um, just have a plan. Like I hate when people just text me and be like, "Oh, I want to work." Mm-hmm. And I just I hate you with the okay. Have a plan. Like, if you want to do a fe- like you want to do a feature, have a song ready. What's the what what kind of what kind of what kind of kind of song we're gonna do? We're gonna do a hood song. We're gonna do a torch. We're gonna do a dancing song. Have a plan out. Just have a plan out because then, a lot of people will reach out to me and say, "Hey, what's work? What, what you want to work on?" Yeah, we can yeah. work on we can work on hosting. We can work on modeling. We can work on this. We can work on that. What you want? It's multiple things I work. I do. What you want to work on? I'm gonna hit you up. All right. That mindset why <laughs> mindset wise to me. You you're just unstable. You yeah. you don't know what you want to do. They you don't, don't know, know if you want to. You don't know if you want to feature. You don't know if you want to just work on the music. You don't know if I just want to go. I have people that tell me. I have people that text me and be like, "Can you come to my studio time?" I just need you. I just want you to watch. You know, okay. my studio time. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, y'all heard it from Quan man himself. Make sure y'all follow him. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, everything, man. Yep. Uh, street fame. Y'all already know how we do it, man. Y'all uh, keep following the movement, supporting the movement. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's what we're going to do. Yeah, support. Support support those that the, support those that's grinding. You know? Support those that grinding. Because right. a lot of people don't. A lot of people. There's a lot of people that don't grind, and there's a lot of people that do grind. Support those that's really, really, you know, putting in the effort. You know what I'm saying? That's actually doing something. There's a lot of people in the city that's actually doing something. So, okay. you know, support them. You know, even if you just reposting their music. You don't have to do a lot. Just repost the music. Listen, supporting, support. You don't even have to repost. Just listen to their music because anything a view, a one view is a lot. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Support. All right, man. Y'all heard from Quan himself, man. Street fame, and we out. Street fame. <laughs>